Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. It feels good to be back. I was out of town for like a week. Just got back down in Savannah, and we brought out the bass boat today. Gotta show them the bass boat. Yep, yep. We had a little bit of technical difficulties this morning. Long story short, I ended up buying a new car, and the truck, I only started it once over two weeks, and my battery was bad, so we had to go get a new battery, put the battery in my truck, and now we're at the lake. But with that being said, we only have two hours to fish until it's dark, so we're gonna have to hustle today. But if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content i think this is going to be a banger of a video we haven't been out here in a minute and i think we're going to catch them pretty good the water's looking good it's looking right we do have some rain clouds uh right above us right there which i'm a little iffy about but i did check the weather cody as we were driving over here and i think we're fine if you guys could please like please 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 hit the like button and also comment down below like that helps out the videos more than you know and with us moving into december youtube just does not want to promote fishing content so the way that we can get our videos out there is by liking the videos and commenting it really helps your boy out like a ton so if you guys could do that like i'd, I'd really appreciate it i know i say it like every video but it's like it really helps out and i just i wanted to put that out there and tell you guys because i know a lot of y'all support the channel but you might not hit the like button it helps out more than you guys know so anyways let's go fishing All right, y'all, we just got to the first spot. So to kind of like give you guys a breakdown on what we're gonna be doing, what we're looking for, we haven't been out on this river, I'd say in like bass fished out here seriously. What would you say, two months, Cody? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like- About two months. We went out one or two times for saltwater fish, but we haven't really came out here and bass fish. So the big thing today is the water's dropping. We're on an outgoing tide. It's already very shallow on the main river. As you guys can tell, the water level has dropped tremendously. With that being said, a lot of those fish that are in the back of those creeks and canals have pushed out towards the main river. So we're about to target any hard cover right now, any laydowns, um, any big trees. Not only is it hard cover, but it's current breaks. So as you can tell, we're actually getting pushed back by the current outgoing. Say you have a tree stump right here, current's going this way that bass is going to sit on the back side of this tree stump so our goal is to get our bait to move around that tree stump and present itself in front of his nose that's the game plan so they're going to be using all this cover as current breaks so i'm going to be fishing with it's a little texas rig um three extra wide gap hook we got a little june bug worm on there if you guys want to check out any of the striking baits i use my link and discount code to be down below and uh, I got a quarter ounce bullet weight on my Kicking Their Bass TV bait caster combo. If you guys want to check out this, link can be down below, kickingtheirbass.com. We have right hand bait, bait casters, left hand and spinning combos, which you see right here. And we might even take out one of these little crappie baits today and uh, try to catch, you know, something different. I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I do have it on the deck just in case we want to. So let's go ahead and get started and see if we can put some together pretty fast. I think I'm gonna pull up on the spot right here and we'll, we'll probably have four or five bites. So let's get it. There we go, guys. That's the bait that I'm using, just a little curly tail. Um, what, what we found out over this last year of fishing this river too, I, I actually really like throwing a curly tail worm or even like a rage crawl. You know, it has a little bit of movement and with it being a lot of current out here, I feel like this tail flutters a lot and puts off some good vibration for those bass to find so yeah that's this this kind of what we're doing what we're starting off with um i'm hitting spots that i normally wouldn't hit just because i haven't been out here in a few months and i kind of want to come out here with a fresh mind and um just try to catch these fish in different spots and i i think we're gonna get on them pretty dang good like i have a good feeling about this i think we're gonna catch one in the next couple casts, I'd say within the next three minutes, we'll have a fish. Ah, right when I get to the good stuff, I just break off. Uh oh. 
Oh, you little turd. I had a bite. I really thought that this spot was gonna have them. I had like that tingling sensation, yeah. you know? But I can tell you the gnats are biting. Come on, fish, right here, yep. Very awkward hook set, but we got him. He's not big, but he's a start. Thank you, baby, for getting us started. What you think, dude? Oh, yeah. Thinking like 10, maybe 11? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> or inches. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere, though. I'm perfectly fine with that, I mean. He hit, he hit me before. I think there's another one up there, though. That, I don't know. I think that was a different fish. He did what they do, just one hard slap, and he had it. Golly. Whoa. Oh, you, you, you. <laughs> I'm gonna see him in my dreams, dude, I promise you. And he ain't gonna be scaring me, I'm gonna be scaring him, I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna get him, dude. He ain't getting away with that. Oh, dude, no, 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 <laughs> not today. It was just a leaf, dude, you know. It's just these gnats, bro. They got me going crazy. They got me dancing. That was a tree, man. I can't believe I'm trying this hard. I swear, if this fish is like 10 inches, I'm gonna be so upset. Can you put? Never seen you make that many casts at one spot. I'm like bound Unless and determined. Unless it was like on a bed or something. I like, dude. He just. I told you, I'm gonna hunt him in his nightmares, dude. Like, this is personal now. Oh, who's calling me? Jared Wade? Yeah. I was actually just thinking about him like seconds before. Hey, we're working, man. What you, what you need? Come on, man. What are you doing? Blooper reels or something right now? Actually, yeah. We're out here on the Ogeechee. Oh, nice. Hey, I, I don't think I've ever told you all this, but what is Oh, I got him this time, buddy. Hold on, Jared. That's him. He finally bit. He finally bit. I guess it was worth the wait, right? It's not big. It's about 12, 13 inches. But we'll take him. See how he's eating it? That's why I couldn't get him. Yeah. He's just nibbling at it. But yeah, guys, he just would not eat that thing. And that just shows he barely had it, okay? But I, I made him bite. He was watching that worm go past his face, what, 10 times, Cody? Yeah. And he finally ate it. And I want you to see these fish. Look at their fins, man. You see them weird little markings? It's interesting. Not a big fish at all, but we'll take them. I think we're gonna head to a new spot. I'm, I might make one or two more casts, but these gnats got me going literally crazy. So we're gonna make a few more and then we'll head to a new spot. It's always you taking pictures of me. I just wanted to spread the love and I wanted to take about a hundred, you know. <laughs> Seems about right. Makes up for the whole year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. See, you you get the concept. Guys, I pressed my GoPro and all of a sudden it took a hundred pictures. Just like that. We, full automatic. So we're in two foot right here. Shallows can be. What if they just hang off a lot deeper? You know what I mean? Like what if right there yeah. am i on to something or am i on to something a lot of bait flicker what in the world what are you oh 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 dude he's still eating it oh my gosh that was a 17 pounder cody I think it was 17 pounds. 
I don't know what that was, but I want to say it was a mudfish. That bite felt like I just, like a stump just destroyed it. Like it did not feel like a fish bite. And then all of a sudden I hook set, I, I hit his lip a little bit, and then he tried to eat it when it was coming out of the water. Maybe I'm on to something with throwing off the bank like that. <laughs> it's first cast. Yeah, that's a good one. He's running at me. That's what we want. Yes. Oh, dude, that is a fatty, bro. That is a fatty. He's not a giant, but that's a good fish for the geech. He's not even as big as he looked when he jumped, but he's a fat guy. Better than what we caught at the beginning, right? Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a football. That's a football right there, boy. Oh, look at that. Came right out. Came right out. That is like a chunk, ain't it? Look at his fat belly on him. That's the that's the thing with these Ogeechee bass. They got such stout bodies. And then look how small his mouth is. Doesn't that look like a little small mouth or a spot? Yeah. That, that is not a large mouth, bro. Like, I swear these it's fish. Mouth. Yeah, that, that's crazy. He looked a little bigger when he was jumping, but that's a, he's not two, but he's up there. He's a high one, that fat belly. Thank you, bub. That's a nice little fish. Yeah, Give me something, brother. I'm gonna stop playing around, dude. Like, I've been playing this whole time. I've just been taking it easy on him, you know? Yeah, don't take it easy. All right, you ready for me to turn up, dude? I'm about to turn up. <clears throat> These fish are done for. I've been taking it easy on him this whole time, but now it's time to shine. Right here. There he is. Oh, gosh, man. I stuck him. He ate it as I was reeling it, yeah. Oh, he's... Dude, what in the heck? I felt that through my rod. My, my line was completely slack there. Like, we're literally in a foot of water, dude. Two foot of water. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice bass, dude. Holy cow. Yes. 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 That's so cool, dude. That is so cool. Not a bad fish. Okay. Look at that one. Not as fat as the last one, but pretty markings on that fish. A little pound and a halfer. Can't complain. Boom, baby. Let's get it. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so did you? Oh my gosh, there's a good one. He's around the tree. I got him, I got him. Woo! I was trying to get a gnat off my arm, dude, and he just like started pulling my, my pole. Not a big one. I thought he was freaking huge the way he was running. Like, didn't have any tension on him. It was crazy, man. <laughs> that little fish ran me around the park. I thought I had me a 14 and a half pounder, but I'll take him, man. Woo! I dropped him. You gotta sling him over your shoulder. <laughs> Just chuck him. Pretty little fish though. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, dude. Good one. That was sweet. Guys, I really, <laughs> I really thought I had a tank right there. That was just, that was crazy. One, I've never caught a fish where I casted that and it was kind of a long cast. Like I just beamed it. Maybe that's why I thought, I don't know. I was like trying to get a gnat off my ear or something. And then all of a sudden my line, like my whole pole just started bending over. 
and I didn't want to miss him because of how they've been biting today. So I just instantly hook set. And he like started going to the right, like he's about to wrap around some of that standing timber. There might be some more up there. Uh, the thing is with this spot right here is all the other stuff we fished has been very shallow. Like I'm talking five foot and under, really like two foot. That's the last spot we were fishing. Um, and yeah, this spot, the boat's sitting in 14 foot. Um, especially this time of year, I would, I would think that some of the fish would be on this bank. I just think the bigger ones would be on this bank, but that fish wasn't even that big. But then again, there could be some big ones. We've caught some really good ones on this bank in the past. And there's gotta be more than one. If there's one, there's two. And if there's two, there's possibly three. And if there's three, there could be about 27. So you never know. I'm trying to hit like just some really random spots, guys. Uh, we have a few spots I, I think we could literally pull up in there and catch like 15, 20 fish like it's nothing. But I'm just trying to do something different today. Maybe next time we go out, we'll check on that stuff and see how it is. But in the winter time, this, this, uh, this river tends to shine. I was catching them in December a couple years ago. Every fish I was catching was almost three pounds. And, um, but it was really cold. It was 36 degrees that morning. As you can tell, I'm in short sleeves. It's 70 degrees today, which I'm not complaining. Not complaining whatsoever. Oh, I just got hit. What in the world are you doing, dude? Why, what are you, did you see my line? Like he hit it right when I said, hey, I, he hit me. He just started pecking at it again. I don't know if that was a bass. He was out deep though. All right, y'all. Last spot of the day is actually the first spot that we came to. We're gonna try, remember how I said a fish always messes with me right here? Honestly, it makes more sense for him to be here now on this incoming tide because of the way the current's coming. So he would be on that side. I can already tell the water's gone up a little bit, can't you? Yeah. We're gonna see if we can catch us a few more, which I know is possible. I think the spot's gonna be reloaded too. We didn't really do any good on it. Like I thought it was gonna be a lot better, but I think we'll have a few opportunities and hopefully one of them is a big one. I, I really would like a big one today. If not, I'm not gonna die over it. You know, I still had a great time. But I would love to catch a big one. <laughs> that would just make me happy. It wouldn't make me sad. <laughs> Holy, dude, why does this reel cast a country mile with a, the lightest little turd of a worm? Way further than mine, and mine's got a heavier worm. I don't understand, dude. I have no line on this, and this line's literally like two months old, bro. This thing whipping. I don't want to hear about nobody not being able to whip this thing. They just got to get their settings or the right line on it. They're going to be on this side of it if they're anywhere. With how that water's moving now. The spot was not good though. I, I don't, like the two fish I caught here were not even big and it was only like two bites that I had. Yeah. I don't know why the spot. This is like a really good spot. I feel like this is better. This spot's better when it's not low tide though. I feel like when you're on the middle of an outgoing tide, it's a little better. But like that little crevice right there with this water coming this way, you got all those stumps. It's literally like a solid current break. There's a slight bit of current, but like there should be fish right there. Right where you're at too, like bringing it over that stump, like. That's where a two and a half pounder, three pounder should be. Oh, nice, dude. On the white worm? Yeah. Right on the white worm. Nice. That's cool. There you go. Come on, buddy. Not a bad one. Nope. He's not a two to, two to three pounder. Dude, but he destroyed it, though. Like, he... I was worried because I didn't have, <laughs> yeah. like, I wasn't ready to set. <laughs> I thought it was a big one. We were talking about that, too. I was like, yeah, it should be a two and a half, three pounder. He was right where he should have been. I mean, yeah. like that's. You're right, man. Their mouths are just so small for largemouth bass. It's weird. 
I love how you moved his lip as you were talking. <laughs> Large mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nice.